so this course will consist of uh, four parts mainly which is manual testing concepts and code java second third is database and web services okay web services which is not mentioned here it's okay and fourth is selenium automation with selenium web driver including framework coding everything so testing primarily uh, which is a, a main uh, target for you guys for the starters right so since it's very easy compared to other jobs like other job responsibilities manual testing is very easy you just see the application and execute something so just like you create a google gmail sign up for a gmail is as easy as it but it is uh, not as easy as it sounds because uh, it involves you to also write the test cases which is called test design okay uh, and if you're a little bit mature you need to also plan for it which is actually test planning and execute them test execution which is what i was talking about easiest part of all and reporting which is a little bit difficult so everything combined together is called testing in loose language it is called testing but in uh, uh, formal language, it is also called QA. So in the session, I will briefly introduce about what's testing and uh, what are the concepts of manual testing and uh, introduce you to SDLC in short known as uh, software development life cycle so everything that we see or that we that uh, we go through in any it project information technology project follows software development life cycle okay it's a software development primarily but it's a life cycle it has its own life cycle like same thing repeats man maintenance stage will repeat everything that whatever is developed in the primary stages so those we will see the sdlc in detail what are the various sections of sdlc and uh, that is overall project now when it comes to testing we need to know about software testing life cycle which is also known as STLC and uh, like the name suggests testing also has its own life cycle that's what it means development is not the correct name because it includes business requirements and development design testing everything comes into SDLC not just the development so uh, whoever gave the name this is not correct but it's primarily development so they gave the name so that's fine but software testing life cycle is only uh, for just te testing part of it or qa quality uh, analysis so introduction to different methodologies we follow different methodologies uh, that include waterfall v process agile so i will explain about those and uh, waterfall was the oldest of all methodologies because it's very straightforward top to bottom just like waterfalls we process is a little bit difficult uh, in the sense it processes just like v the shape v it uses some parallel processing we'll talk about that and most of the companies use agile methodology agile means speed by nature the environment is pretty fast moving so we need to adapt to that environment so we'll discuss about the agile environment also and what are the different 
aspects of agile environment in detail because it's most widely used nowadays and when you talk about testing uh, the first thing comes into mind is bugs defects or issues right so you need to catch bugs that's the main target why you're testing because you need to catch defects so it has its own life cycle again that is called defect life cycle and and we will talk about that and majorly we will use jira tool okay there are different tools like bugzilla uh, quality center etc but jira is most uh, widely used nowadays because it also manages agile environment pretty good so jira is a tool so we will also see i don't know jira you can download or the trial version just uh, you can run it on local host so that you can see in the lab session but i'll explain about the uh, intricacies conceptually and uh, theoretically I'll explain about this then uh, in order to write the test cases uh, you need to follow some techniques otherwise it will, it will become very difficult you end up writing two so to avoid that you need to know some techniques which are also known as black box testing techniques but we will also know okay so that you know what to cover and what not to cover in black box and there are types of testing different types of testing what kind of testing we do in a given project smoke functional regression testing so we'll know about that and uh, after the testing is done we need to do some post requisites uh, after execution which is traceability what is traceability we need to trace what is tested in terms of what is uh, the requirement what the requirement is so and reporting is also important aspect of the testing so we will cover that and uh, this i said this will cover in the second session like introduction to web services and what are the web services what are the restful services what are the soap services and what is an xml what is json what is an api and what is so pretty api so pure ready api postman are the tools to do web service testing so we will discuss about this which is actually a second part okay so i just club it together and introduction to database testing so this we will detail in detail discuss here what is databases what are the different databases <clears throat> mainly we will use or dbms not dbms so what is the difference between them and what are the different database uh, languages we will use mostly we will use uh, data uh, dml ddl dcl tcl something like that so we we'll learn about those what happened okay okay so uh, we will learn about this ddl data definition language which is basically used to create alter drop rename dml select insert update delete so majorly we will be using this dml instead of ddl because ddl and tcl transaction control language dcl data control language are used by dbs db database administrator so mostly we will use dml in manual testing or automation so we will learn more about this in detail and how do you write the sql queries which is also important so we will learn about what how do you write simple sql queries and how do you put conditional and operational uh, statements in those and a little bit advanced how do you use group by having order by and joins and aggregate functions and uh, database relationships so that's all needed for the database we don't need to go any in depth because otherwise it would be for dba job so not manual testing okay so third one is and also like i said we will also i will also cover web services testing which is uh, a which is very important nowadays because in any three tier architecture every uh, uh, we have web services either in terms of soap or uh, uh, rest restful services okay so if it is soap we are going to use xml okay uh, and if it is restful service we are going to use json or apis application programming interface so third one is java okay so this is where 
your actual automation course starts. So the reason why I'm taking Java separately is you need to know about core Java concepts in order to even start the automation because we are going to use code Java extensively in automation using Selenium WebDriver. Even though Selenium WebDriver uses different languages such as C Sharp, Ruby, Python, Perl, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but we are going to only concentrate on Java. Okay, so if you switch to different languages, you are going to get yourself confused. So stick to Java. And as part of Java, I'll teach you about what are the different uh, basic concepts, including O concepts, object-oriented programming. Okay. Like the name suggests, object-oriented programming consists of objects, right? Objects, classes, and objects. And there are four different types. Object-oriented uh, programming has four different types. Abstraction, encapsulation, polymorphism, and inheritance. And of course, classes and objects will be there. So this has different kinds of concepts, including the logic. So I will combine both together and explain you each concept followed by examples and some homework tests. OK, so this also applies to testing also after each test, uh, each class, I will give you a homework or simple test. OK, and you need to uh, do the homework and reply back to the email, which will be tracked again. And every week we have different tests, a little bit bigger tests for the whole week, whatever we have learned. And you need to answer those questions, like a quiz, you can say. Or programming, if I want you to write a program, simple program, by giving a question, you need to write the program. So from the beginning of this code Java, you need to install Eclipse and be ready with all the tools and uh, configurations. Otherwise, you cannot, just theoretically, if you just listen to it, it won't cut it so you have to install it so that will be covered uh, course uh, i mean installations and configurations okay then we will see in depth what are the different uh, concepts of code java like loops what are the conditional statements what is overriding overloading uh, what is the exception handling and what are the different string manipulations arrays and how do you debug java uh, programs etc so Number four is Selenium course content. So Selenium means Selenium web driver by default nowadays. Okay. So I will start with configuration. So because you all have already, you would have already been uh, familiar with Java. That means you must have already done the Eclipse installation and configuration. So there is no need to do this. So all you need to do is just download some extra drivers and jars. And installation of Eclipse is already done. So that's fine. This is also done. I mean, it we, we will be done with this once this is done. And then mainly the automation involves a framework. Nowadays, everybody is uh, emphasizing on framework design. So I will start with the framework, explain you how to create a framework from the scratch and how to enhance the framework and till the final framework, which is called hybrid framework, which consists of different different aspects, keyword driven and data driven and page object model, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't mention everything in here, but I will cover to And majorly uh, you need to work with the DOM in uh, whenever you are uh, trying to automate any test case. The DOM means document object model. And that means every page, web page, which consists of HTML, which is written in HTML by the developer, has some objects like radio button, checkbox, drop down, text box, button, link, etc. So all these objects have some properties given by the developer. So we need to operate on them, just like you type something in the uh, web page, right? You want to type something in the web page. What you would do, you would actually go to the go to that and just type something manually, right? So if I want to click on this back button, you click on it. But this back button has some properties. This is, since it's an object, everything is an object. Everything that you see in this page is an object. And in order to click on this, we will have to find the object properties. OK, 
so those properties we need to find and write x path or different different by classes id or name or link text or whatever cs selector so we will learn how to write x path and that is once you find the x path your 50 percent of work is done then the rest of the 50 percent is you have to uh, write use them in order to find the elements and operate on them and pass the data and compile them and execute them that is the remaining uh, 50 percent so that process is called debugging everything you have to run that uh, new programs you have to run until it is bug free that's why it is called debugging okay so you have to run keep running 20 or 30 times initially at least so in order to get rid of those bugs and that process is called debugging so we'll uh, learn the different techniques of debugging and finally we have to report and whatever we have run normally manual testing you take the screenshot and put it somewhere in the word document right so in that case we will have to take the screenshots automatically and of generate a pdf report and send an email so everything must be automated that is the overall agenda so i'll also show you till the last how do you report an email okay so as part of test automation framework this is intertwined with uh, the development so we will see the development we will learn about exports and all these things parallelly we will create the framework and enhance slowly all right so this consists of infrastructure functions page objects data pools utils everything and uh, infrastructure functions uh, also i will teach you about test ng j unit and maven which are considered as uh, uh frameworks in, in themselves so we will combine these built-in frameworks with our custom framework so which is called hybrid so infrastructure functions are the backbone of any automation testing because this infrastructure without infrastructure you cannot cannot even proceed these act as a road without road you cannot even travel right so if you need to travel your vehicle you need to have a road and a other infrastructure which are uh, like how do you operate on different objects like selecting radio button selecting drop down value selecting checkbox clicking on link button switch to frame how do you wait for something to come into existence how do you capture web page how do you assert or validate these are all including how do you launch browser okay so that itself comes into the infrastructure level so we will cover all these in the beginning and utilities by the name utilities it means you should be using them majorly they will be useful in other words so for example if i want to read some excel spreadsheet automatically then i have to uh, create an excel util so we will use different different jobs like apache poi uh, and create them so i'll explain about this and how do you deal with the property file how do you manipulate the strings? How do you take the screenshots? How do you report the PDF? How do you uh, encrypt, decrypt some words? How do you use keyboards? How do you manipulate dates? Like for example, if I give today's date, any given date you add two days, or if I give you date of birth, how do you calculate the age and vice versa? All these things will be covered. And how do you connect to database? How do you uh, retrieve the value from database table? So all this will be covered in database uh, util and similarly how do you deal with the web services whether it is soap or rest if it is a soap how do you create the xml which is called request payload and how do you send it how do you get back the response payload how do you get the values from it fetch the values from it if it is rest full service how do you create the json request how do you hit the uri and how do you fetch the response json and how do you get the values fetch the values from it and how do you value it all this will be covered in these utils so the basic uh, uh, need of utility is you don't need to every time write the same function again and again just you write one time and use them call these functions that is like reusability you just create one time and use them many times so these are all concepts that we are going to cover in these four topics okay uh, i'll share this with you guys after this class so any questions since we have seven minutes more afterwards uh, russell will talk about the lab session and others uh, any questions so far
okay so and i will be asking questions while i'm uh, like teaching so anybody can jump in and respond otherwise uh, if i keep uh, saying what is this what is this it will waste time so we'll stick to one hour each class and at the end of the session we will give a uh, homework kind of uh, thing and you will have to do the homework in the next session where, whenever the next session is uh, you can send it to an email whenever you are done with it and during the course uh, i mean during the teaching uh, if i ask any questions like if you have any doubts also you can jump in and ask me so for that what you have to do is you have to un unmute yourself otherwise if you talk unmute i can't hear nobody can hear you so if you text here, I mean, I may not be able to see it, right? Your best way is to unmute yourself and talk. So I'm going to ask you again, any questions here? In the course curriculum only, there is nothing complicated about it. Okay, so let's go with the old school way, Ashni Kumar. Any questions? Can I no, call me? No, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. How about DV? No, no questions. No question. Thank you. Thank you. No questions. Okay. You can ask any question. Doesn't matter. Not related. You can ask like uh, anything in general also. Uh, Faisal, I think he is uh, already. Uh, you know. So if you have any questions, Faisal, you can ask. No, not right now. Okay, and for Han Alim? No, I don't have any questions. So you're good with the framework, uh, the course con curriculum, or you want to add something to it? You want me to cover something which is not covered? Mm, no, I'm okay. You're fine with the course curriculum, right? Yeah. Okay, so Mans Mamunur Rashid, yeah, I already know. Uh, Mamunur, any questions in terms of uh, course curriculum? Yeah, no questions so far right now. This way you are good with the course. No, everything is covered according to you. I mean, whatever you need to learn. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Muhammad Rahad Zaman. <coughs> No, I have no questions. It's fine. Okay. What about Muhammad Hussain? Yeah, I am good with it. I have no question. Okay. Mustafa? Uh, no, I have no question. No question. I mean, you, you will get questions more when I start, so that's fine. Uh, I'm just uh, asking you name by name. So, Muzamil Haq. Hi, Sangam. Hi, Muzamil. So, any uh, questions? How are you? No, thank you. How are you? Uh, hi, thank you. So, no questions, huh? No. Okay. So, no questions means you are good with the frame, um, the course. That's what I understand. Nishat Reza. Any questions on course? No, no questions. Thank you. No questions. Okay. Nixon. I have no questions about that. Okay, go on. Go on. A little bit louder, please. I have no question. Thank you. Oh, you have no question. Okay, cool. Uh, Parish, Parikshit Shahal. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, no question so far. Okay, cool. Uh, PC. I think this is a short form of Parikshit Shahal. Is it? Uh, yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, Ramesh. I have no question. Thank you so much. No questions. Okay. Ruxana. I have a question. How long are the total, uh, like the time frame for this uh, course? Okay. That's a good question. So I will try to cover. Uh, mostly uh, since we are taking four days per week, like <clears throat> Monday, uh, sorry, so Monday's demo, but Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, each one hour. So I'll try to finish this in one week or so. I mean, I'm roughly estimating. And uh, the database will take one week. 
uh, including web services and the uh, java course curriculum i will try to finish in one week okay and selenium course contents will take two weeks because it's a little bit uh, i need to cover more so mostly we will uh, cover everything in like five or six weeks like one one and a half month if it is extended sometimes it takes more or less so, so we can adjust it so that's the rough estimate so Ruxana is done Russell is done yeah I want to just interrupt you uh, so actually our plan is course curriculum the batch we have with the lab week uh, the total duration is three months so um, uh, um, so all courses uh, we have with the uh, lab class uh, three months altogether so you write like whatever the course it is content but uh, beside we have the lab work so it will um, uh, from uh, sorry uh, sometimes not mentioned that um, for lab work so lab work also it's going to be all together like three months uh, mm. course duration right right I, I didn't speak about the lab so Russell you yeah, yeah. Take care of the lab, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. Sajul. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good, no question. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's end the session exactly half an hour. So, rest of the half an hour, uh, Russell will explain about the lab session. What are the uh, different aspects of lab you are going to do in lab session? So, over to Russell. Russell. Okay. I'll send this. Uh, yeah, make me. Can you make me a presenter? Sure. sure. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, how do you present? Okay, I think you're already present. Okay. So you guys can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to mute myself. Okay, sure. Uh, so um, uh, I know uh, Sangam also uh, asked uh, um, everyone, each and everyone, do we have any question or not? So um, even though uh, before starting the course, uh, some common question is uh, going through, a lot of people are asking. So I just uh, uh, try to give you before the lab class uh, how um how the course is designed already um sangam uh, explained the technical part uh, which one you need to learn and then what is our course uh, outline uh, he went through already uh, so basically this course uh, yeah qa training and then um, we wanted to know, know like uh, who can take this class and then what is the prerequisite or what is skill you need to become a qa tester and then how long you need to uh, um, study and then what you need to study and then how um, the course curriculum we design like how you can follow us and then uh, after the course finish and definitely you go uh, go to the market but before uh, when you go to the market we have that uh, uh, module like uh, manual testing and automation testing database uh, uh, we design this and then we will take that uh, um, exam and then you have to be passed each and every exam and then when you pass when you do the course and then we'll count also when we give you the assignment and then uh, we will track uh, how you participate and uh, that way we determine who are uh, really serious about that course and also uh, who are um, serious then definitely we will market for that and you will get a job who are serious they will definitely get a job that's for sure but uh, you need to study and you need to get your skill first. So let's get started. Like what is QA training? We understand. So QA training, like quality assurance training course can help teach you how to avoid problem when delivering solution or service to customers as known as software test. So the training we are getting as a acting like the end user. So when we, uh, we have like, different different software like application software web application software desktop application software mobile application is everywhere now uh, a lot of places they are converting their application to mobile support so 
so a lot of uh, application they're converting so we need to know um, how software is built and then uh, how it is developed and then after that how we can test it uh, as a uh, inspector or as a tester what is our role we need to define and then we can go through one by one and the uh, another question is like um, how do we can uh, to become a quality assurance tester so we start getting trained our course do plan and your determination and your goal keep learning those are the things i i highlighted because uh, uh, you need to follow and then you need to be determined why determine is important because some uh, i saw it uh, uh, previous experience also a lot of times we saw it people are uh, doing the class they don't have time to for practice they don't have uh, enough time because here you need to be determined the main thing is you need to reduce your work time otherwise if you want to follow us you cannot do that if you don't follow two or three classes then next class definitely you will not understand because it has come uh, one after another classes so that's why always important you need to attend each and every class and then get the um, uh, clarity from that class and then ask until you are satisfied because our uh, ultimate goal is uh, whatever we teach uh, to, uh, giving uh, the lecture or uh, what are the skill uh, we are uh, telling you everybody is not understanding all so don't be shy because you are paying for that course definitely you are make sure you are getting 100 percent whatever we are giving you so that's why um my main thing is you need to be determined and then who are working full time i would say uh, keeps you time uh, save you time for the study and then don't do uh, any excuse because it is not like a babysitting we all are adult and we all are coming here for uh, achieve our goal uh, to get a job it is not like you are watching movies and then you get off and then you are doing whatever you are doing it is not like you are coming here for track you uh, uh your current job you are changing who are a student who are working long time you are, want to change your better life because this is your don't think about like you are doing some and then without uh, without proper training proper skill and then you will get a job it is not possible so always remember you are getting whatever you uh whatever uh we um give you the uh, skills or uh, training or courses just follow up so that is the ultimate things we want to uh, we want to get from you and then how long does it take we already uh, we are already uh, give you uh, those questions you need to come from when they ask that way that like your brain should work like okay if somebody asks you you need to get your clarity so definitely someone is asking for how long it it is definitely you need to know everybody need to know how long it is and um, that that is our um, uh, that is our three uh, three months course um, design uh, everything all together with the uh, lab works as well and uh, the next one is as a tester what do you need to do as a rule uh, uh, when you perform when you learn uh, all those things how you how you uh, perform or what you do when you go to the job so as a QA analyst or tester problem solver or uh, job duties including testing website or web application or uh, any software um, mostly a uh, software is right now is web application previously a lot of application also uh, desktop application like microsoft office or a uh, lot of application is uh, crm application is there a uh, lot of software is a manufacturing company they also use uh, their uh, desktop application uh, so and then documenting the issues right when you do something we need to work as a tester that means we have the application but we need to test how we gonna test we need to know what the application it does what is the use for if it is a healthcare definitely uh, there is a lot of insurance involved if it is a, um, a flight application uh, there is a uh, from to where you are going to and how many uh, what is the class business or uh, economically and then how many uh, ticket you bought so those are functionality and if you are working or uh, if you have a pharmaceutical company and then definitely all about your uh, uh, medicine 
and then uh, if you have a um, uh, banking software definitely it is all our uh, um, kd debit or transaction or uh, all our uh, your uh, um, banking statement so every every application has different different criteria so based on that we need to know how that uh, application work how, from how we know we definitely we do have a business requirement document so before testing we need to better know or understanding what business requirement does and based on that it is our job is to make sure that business requirement document whatever is mentioned it is working as expected if it is not definitely it will not work the sangam also give the example like um, uh, login functionality so definitely if they have a password uh, field and then they have a criteria six minimum require uh, minimum characters and to 32 characters or a uh, combination of uh, uh, upper case or lower case so all together we need to know oh okay that that way we it is work if it is uh, password is allowing or uh, less than five characters definitely is a defect if it is allowing um, uh, not a capital letter uh, all are smaller is uh, allow uh, or, or all number is allowing even though it is saying it need, it's need to be combination of uh, character and number so then it is a problem so there is a, a small thing is with, but definitely we will go through and then you will get trained for that uh, that is the role you need to do as the inspection so inspection means you need to be find out if the uh, um, application is working properly so that is our role Pre previously developer they uh, they do that job uh, they developed and they test by themselves. But the thing is, why these roles and then why they paying um, good a good salary for that? Because it is important. Because sometimes a lot of uh, a lot of application when they are going into the production and then if it is uh, not working as expected and then we, uh, people are uh, not people like business are um, uh, losing their money and then their income got reduced and then sometimes they uh, they have huge uh, um uh damage or a huge um uh, uh, financial crisis they have and then sometimes uh, the software is not getting popular uh, popularity because it is buggy uh, so we need to make sure we don't have any defect that's the main thing we need to uh, achieve so as a tester we need to make sure uh, we do our role as an end user make sure that uh, um, application is working perfect okay and then what is skill we uh, we need as a tester so software testing what skill we need quick learner definitely some people are um, uh, uh, going to one application to another application it takes lots lot of time but we need to be learning fast and you we need a confidence and then we need a good skill so if we don't have good skill what we need we need to gather that skill and then uh, good numerical skill or understanding like uh, mathematical things you need to understand that definitely uh, everybody passed the high school uh, and then we already minimum uh, high school diploma um, level of education we have and then that is good enough for start with and then planning and organize uh, organization skills uh, it, it is look like uh, okay a lot of responsibility but it not yeah plan wise means how you thinking and then how you can organize your uh, work the, the, those the things and communication in interpersonal skills so sometimes we all uh, we know as a uh, bangladeshi people or uh, uh, mostly we don't have uh, we we have a uh, problem with speaking or uh, properly um, communication communicate but uh, mainly main thing is um, if you uh, definitely if your uh, your skill is good but you can speak definitely it is difficult to uh, jump into the job because when you get a job uh, a daily scrum meeting or when you have a um, uh, meeting with your team definitely definitely need to say something and then um, it is not like a, you need to be very fluent but at least you have those and then team uh, teamwork is skill so every when we work uh, any store uh, or anywhere definitely we have those and then that is good enough for a startup that is the skill we we need to for starting with software testing course okay and then there is a question is uh, do i need any certification or testing certification no as a, as i said it is not even though uh, educational certificate is not required some most uh, 90 percent 
I would say they are not required because they are uh, looking for the skill. They are not going through the certificate because you already know in, uh, in our countries also, a lot of people have uh, a lot of certificates in master degree and then double master degree. And then, but eventually uh, they don't have that skill. So wh why where is the certification is not important that much? Uh, some, some companies they need to require for bachelor degree or master degree sometimes. Uh, but mostly they're uh, looking for the skill, whatever you have, because the technology always going change. It is not like a, um, if you ask a 20 years old professor, uh, they uh, they will don't know the latest technology, uh, cloud um, computing or um, uh, a new web service or uh, new technology. Maybe he might don't uh, um, go through those. But uh, so everything IT is very going, uh, changing is very fast. So always we need to keep learning. Always, if you want to stay here, you need to learn uh, as much as you can because they will pay you, uh, definitely will come after that. So like, uh, this is the, another question. So what is the education background regard? Education background regard is, I would say, minimum high school diploma is good to have any bachelor degree. Sometimes they're asking for a computer job. Definitely a lot of people can ask, oh, okay, if I want to jump onto the uh, IT job, uh, computer sector, do I need to computer related um, um, graduation or something? No, even though you you will know like there is the, in the world, we have 40% developer who doesn't have even um, computer computer background, means uh, computer uh, bachelor degree or computer um, uh, master degree. So they are coming from different, uh, different like maybe business or arts uh, or different uh, other uh, other um, uh, education background. So they switch it because why? Because it, it has a decent money. It has a, um, a good money they uh, they uh, they make. Everybody's goal is make more money because why you are coming here also? Definitely you you want to uh, go your better life with your uh, better salary. So. What is the question then? Uh, what, what is the QA salary is, uh, or, or tester is uh, getting? The range is like I would say roughly 70,000 to 120k. But why it is so many difference? Because it is depends on is, uh, your skill. If you get more skill, you will get more pay. It is uh, 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 as simple as it is. Because always company paid you based on your salary. Company will hire you based on your salary. The question is why I'm hiring you, the, uh, why they hire me? Because my skill, why they are not hiring the other people? Because I'm better than him. So how you can get better? Definitely, you will get more skill. So that is the important. You understand that, right? So those are the things I wanted to just discuss, even though uh, Sangam also go through uh, the technical part, the how our course designed, and definitely those, uh um those things you need to also know any question anyone okay uh so uh, Jane, uh, what do you mean by exam uh final test exam before we go to market uh sorry say again uh you said something about that you, we have to take a final examination before you go to the market. What do you mean by that? So final examination means like yeah, if you follow our course and then definitely Sangam and me will go through like uh, the um, uh, course, uh, uh, course outline, like uh, manual part, and then we have a software uh, process like uh, how to write down the test cases or uh, how to write the database query, how to write the program how to execute the automation um, uh, automation code. Uh, so those, uh, during those, we wanted to uh, give you assignment and then you need to participate with the exam and then that exam you need to pass. If you, if you uh, get a low score and then we'll recommend it to you before market, uh, do, the, uh, re, uh, do the course again and or uh, see the videos, recorded videos uh, um, uh, one more time and then uh, make yourself preparation and then study more how to get the pass. So that way, uh, and I'm not saying like you need to be scored 100% or 90%, uh, we will determine then uh, as expert, like, okay, what is the status you are, uh, you, and then what is school, skill you have right now. And then that way we determine 
or are you able to go to the market or not? You need more study or you are ready? Thank you. You ready? Yep. Thank you. Okay. And then we do have lab class, and then um, lab class we we already designed with uh, uh, from uh, some people has uh, already uh, basic computer knowledge, some doesn't have. So we designed this from scratch, and then um, uh, from com uh, computer basic to computer basic, and then uh, computer um, uh, network basics, and then uh, different different tools basics and then a database uh, uh, mysql or oracle database and then different build tools uh, like maven jenkins uh, version control like git or um, uh, github and then uh, there is the uh, development tools like ide uh, like uh, eclipse and then programming language you will learn from here on this course uh, java language uh, you already know and then those things like agile um, agile tools like jira or hpalm uh, which one is very uh, commonly used in most of the companies uh, those tools and then uh, microsoft office basics uh, microsoft outlook is your uh, daily work so uh, that need to be very uh, familiar with uh, and then shared drive and then different different file formats uh, like a uh, computer basics uh, uh, motherboard processor program uh, file system file format and uh, those uh, basic dos commands uh, those we will go through we have the uh, those lab uh, session and then uh, one by one we will uh, we'll finish and then mostly uh, every sunday will be a lab class and then um, uh, rest of these other uh, other days uh, like uh, we will determine like most of the uh, most of the uh, who are uh, attending those class if they don't have any issues with um, uh, Tuesday or Thursday, and then we can uh, we can uh, take that class uh, on during that weekdays uh, night time and uh, weekend morning time. Okay, so um, that's. Uh, from me that's all any question anyone um if you want to ask uh, i can um i can tell about the courses if you are if you are not clear let me know or uh, let sangam know um asad uh, asad by our coordinator so he uh, anything if you need uh, to uh, get uh, get anything like uh, the, uh, related to the course or link or uh, uh, anything you can uh, uh, you can buzz him. So uh, overall, like uh, that's the ultimate uh, uh, target is like uh, this is the course curriculum we want to introduce to you, like what you need to learn and what is our process. Uh, I believe uh, I already uh, mentioned it. Sankam also cleared that uh, course outline, uh, and then uh, uh, that's, that's all for for now. Uh, so if every everyone is fine, then uh, we can uh, uh, we can end end this end this uh, session. Well, okay? uh, I have some announcements to make. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. All right then. So I'll just make myself present. I I I will mute and uh, you can continue. So see. Uh, bye bye for now. Uh, good night for everyone. Thank you very much. Okay then. Hello everyone. Uh, can you see my screen? Yep. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So I believe uh, that was really helpful. Uh, it was about the course outline and what we're going to cover in this course. So uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Asad. Um, I am the person who contacted you. Uh, I called you, mailed you. So I will be your course coordinator. So all of the classes uh, I'll coordinate. Uh, before each class, I'll uh, create a GoToMeeting ID like today, and I'll send it to you. <clears throat> regarding any questions regarding the course uh, curriculum or any issues you're facing or any updates or any feedback you want to provide about the course you can inform me uh, so 
we have a small registration process so this is a this is our course curriculum form course registration form and uh, this is on google drive uh, and i created it on uh, google sheets so i'll be sharing this sheet with you so please uh, take it will take about five to ten minutes to fill this up it's basically your uh, info your name email address uh, <clears throat> stuff like that some about your educational background so this form will help us better understand uh, about the students <clears throat> so i'll just go briefly on the form so the first section is the candidate section that which is uh, your name date of birth your phone then the educational background your highest level of education and uh, with the institution you passed from if you have done any relevant professional courses this will really give us a better understanding of the student any computer awareness and background meaning that uh, if you have done any other courses uh, like this is a qa course if you have if you have any expertise on dba or networking or any other kind of computer uh, background just please uh, fill it up uh, language uh, ability so if you uh, please list your first second third language whatever the languages you know over here some of your professional activities the work that you have been doing not necessarily that has to be it any kind of background what you have or what you have been working on say you are a manager in bank or you have been working in a restaurant or anywhere just list it down over here <clears throat> Uh, personal statement is uh, it's about uh, the regarding the course why are you interested in the course write a little bit about it uh, in this section so this will also give us uh, an uh, insight about uh, your your uh, writing abilities how you can write so you may only write in this section the light you can say it's yolo maybe this section just you can put down like first name as like asadul last name is hawk just like this okay so this is how you fill up the form i'll share one form with every uh, student please uh, fill this up uh, and i will get the infos any questions here All right, thank you. So one more thing is that this uh, course uh, we are doing here, it's it's a live course, it's a live class. Though it's online, but it's live. So to take the most out of this course, we wanted to make this course interactive, meaning that uh, the instructor will be talking, you will also participate. It's more like, it's not like a lecture, more like a discussion. So in the class, you are uh, encouraged to speak. So talk about any problems you are having or you, if you have any questions. Uh, often I see that uh, students, they are intimidated and then don't want to share their experiences or knowledge or uh, don't want to share their problems. Please do. We urge that you uh, speak in the class. You talk about your problems and ask any questions. <clears throat> uh so uh this is the demo class so demo class the purpose of this class was to very briefly introduce you with the course because a lot of people they come here for the course and they don't know uh, what we are offering so maybe it seems like uh, just another training but we are trying to offer more a lot of the stuff as you have seen that we have a course section, uh, Sangam will take care of it, but as well as the course section, we also have a lab section where a lot of the tools Sangam won't be discussing, but he would be using during the course, during the lecture, but in the lab classes, we will be focusing on those tools to use. And those tools will be very much helpful 
in your professional jobs as well. One of them is the GitHub. We are using GuruMeeting. GuruMeeting is a really important software that you'll be using every day, mostly every day for meeting purposes. Nowadays, IT companies, they are meeting virtually. So this is really a good learning, would be a good learning experience. We'll be also talking about in the labs, uh, some, um, you know, how to configure. Most of the people that don't use Outlook for emails, but in your offices, you will do. So these things, they, they are extras. They uh, usually, uh, uh other in other uh, trainings usually people they don't teach about this thing so we try to add this thing so that you can gain a complete knowledge about what's going on in your uh, in the it office and, and it world mm, regarding the course uh, uh schedule so uh the, we'll be having uh starting out classes next week so I'll be giving you uh, the schedule over email. So our uh, official uh, means of communication would be emails. So please keep uh, an eye on your emails. Uh, I would uh, recommend you check your emails daily uh, in the morning and uh, at night twice. That way any you won't miss any important notice regarding the course. And as discussed by the instructors that will be having regular classes, assignments, exams, and labs. These are all the very four important uh, topics that we will be usually doing in our course. So please participate and that's it. Enjoy the course. If you have any questions in the meantime, please ask. I know you might have, you're not asking, or if you don't have now, or if you have it later, please feel free to call me, uh, feel free to uh, text me, feel free to email me. All right, so if you don't have any questions, if you're not asking any questions right now, then I think we'll call it a night. All right then, students, thank you very much for joining. I'll end the session now. Thank you very much.